Quest has a new update that helps you see clearer. They're releasing a Quest Super Resolution upscaling for sharper VR visuals. How long is it going to take for all this to really be implemented and integrated? We all know how updates go with Quest. They do roll out sporadically. We It just becomes everything. It's a great scale when updates do come around. But what we do know is that it's a feature for VR developers that can enable sharper visual in their apps and games. So this helps them out deliver us the best product we can possibly get at least for a mobile standalone vr headset right is what it's deemed as super resolution works on quest 2 and quest pro it's going to leverage qualcomm's snapdragon game super resolution the gsr software technology now it's helping out with adreno mobile gpus in the qualcomm snapdragon chipsets used in quest headsets and runs in single pass to maximize performance they are really going further into depth in acknowledging that this is not an ai system like nvidia's but it will require few future chipsets in order for this to really be integrated. The super resolution will be available in the V55 Unity integration SDK set to release very soon. Unity developers will see new sharpen type setting in V55 with two options, normal and quality. Quality uses the super resolution technology, which has a noticeable GPU performance cost, while normal uses contrast adaptive sharpening CAS, a much lower overhead algorithm, more similar to traditional upscale. Either way, we've been needing resolution updates. You know, even me, when I put on my headset, I'm like, man, this needs to look a lot better when I play. Obviously, we never want to compare a standalone Quest 2 to an actual PC VR headset. What Quest 2 has done up until this point has been amazing. But what I also read a lot on Twitter is that they're actually taking steps back with virtual reality Quest, right? Because Quest, although is easy to consume, to buy, to get, to understand, it is entry level. So therefore, the full on experience in terms of graphics, overall acknowledgement, updates and just the, the clarity, the performance, it's not as great as a PC VR, right? Where so it's always a split decision when it comes down to Quest, depending on who you are and what can really entail to your personal journey in virtual reality. Do you want it easy, simplified, affordable and therefore sacrifice the graphics or you want to get top notch everything, cause a little bit of friction to get a PC and get everything rolling, connect it, tether it whether it's wireless or linked and really acknowledge the fact that, yeah, it's complicated up front, but the overall long haul is understanding the real essence of true cultural virtual reality. So that's kind of just up to you. The normal sharpening, the quality super resolution avoids blurring and stair casing artifacts from bilinear sampling, and it provides smoother edge reconstruction and reduces halo artifacts. Meta claims. So Meta is claiming this. They do have a photo and it shows everything on what's going down. So that is something that's pretty cool too. Meta says the exact GPU cost of super resolution is content dependent. In apps with simple colors and smooth gradients, it would have a relatively lower GPU cost, while in apps with highly detailed textures and objects, it would have a higher GPU cost. So there is a, a overall just condensed layout that they do talk about. Meta notes the following limitations of Quest super resolution currently. Subsampled layout will be supported starting with V56. Whether employing super resolution is better than devoting that GPU to increasing eye buffer resolution depends on an app's compute bottleneck. Enabling super resolution on content that's close to display resolution may result in increased temporal aliasing or flicker. Kind of not really a good news right there, but they're still looking to really upgrade all of that. Quest giving us what we want, of course. We always want clarity in virtual reality, like what I said, as a standalone. This is for developers moving forward. So there's a lot of things that are going to be working within developers moving forward forward now all the hand track and the face track and the mixed reality pass through and everything that's coming on quest 3 all of this is really setting the plate for quest now the question is is the developers going to actually really execute on this process and are we going to be able to enable ourselves to hone the journey without getting too impatient now i don't know depending on how patient we can get with virtual reality but are we able to wait for this process to really get to its maximized tier we're just going to have to roll along with the punches because developers can give us, but we don't know how limited it's going to be. VR can be frustrating at times just due to always shooter games, always beat rhythm games. And therefore, I think we need to graduate from that level in order to consistently be able to provide the best VR experience. I believe if we can focus with this type of sharpening resolution, uh, the super resolution, I hope that we can use this to really abide by actually experiences, social apps, hand tracking, eye tracking, and everything also to just give a commercial sense of virtual reality. 
quality too kind of like what apple vision pro is doing but at a much fraction of a cost and then you can also of course utilize this in every game within games it should be a lot faster especially if we stick to the same type of rollout that we're doing now but we can't wait for assassin's creed so we'll hope how that looks y'all gotta let me know what's up though super resolution uh, are you excited for clarity in that headset let me know what's up peace